get kind of an idea how it sounds. Um, <clears throat> this is my new guitar. It's a new Fender Strat. Um, I'm going to try and give as much info as I really can right now because I know I'm going to get a million questions on this guitar. Um, I modeled it exactly after Tom DeLong's old Fender Strat. I do have another Tom DeLong Strat over there. I'm sure you've seen it in a bunch of my videos. Um, this one was one that he used live um, around 99, 2000, um, 2001 and so on um, <clears throat> for his downtune songs. He mainly did um, pretty much Adam's song and then I don't know if he ever used it live for obvious uh, during like 2003 or 4. I'm pretty positive he did at least a couple times before he brought in um, the Tornado or whatever the Jagmaster, whatever the hell he used uh, later on the white, the white and black one. Um, but yeah, I, I got it really close. Um, the neck I got from eBay. It's a Tom DeLonge Fender neck. Um, the same exact thing that's going to be on the one over there. Um, so that's pretty easy to find. This body I got from Warmeth.com. Um, one sec. Easy enough. So, really easy to find. It's really easy to navigate. You just have to know what you want when you're going there. Um, I knew exactly what I needed to make this guitar, what I wanted it to be. Um, I got the little uh, chrome uh, volume knob. I got the, the Tom DeLonge's, uh, the Seymour Duncan Invader pickup. I already had this pick guard because that's what originally came on my black Strat. Um, I got, I think it's an American Standard uh, bridge. Um, let's see. Just bought another strap. I mean, on musician's friend, pretty easy. Um, and then <clears throat> the other things I had to get, I had to buy some wiring. I believe I bought stranded 22 gauge, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't exactly remember. Um, you got to buy a volume pot. I had to buy. Um, I had to buy the volume pot, the wiring, and the actual input jack itself separate from Warmoth.com. But I did get the jack plate, and um, I did even get like little the little string ferrules right there, and the uh, the uh, neck plate. Um, so, I mean, honestly, you go on there you, if you want to build a Tom Strat, it's going to be pretty pricey. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm going to be honest. It's it sounds better, it feels better than my other guitar. Um, because, I mean, it, it pretty much is, you know. Um, <clears throat> I did have to get some work done on it. I did have to drill all these holes for the pick guard for the uh, input jack uh, by myself. They didn't do it at the company. Um, so pretty much what you do is you pick out exactly how you want the guitar to be routed and everything, especially, like, um, how you're going to want the pickup come. Uh, I don't remember the word I'm thinking of. Configuration. Um, so if, say you wanted to make like say a Tom DeLonge Strat, but you wanted a humbucker here and a humbucker up in the neck, you could set it so that um, it's cut out so that you can fit one there and, and one there. But what I did is I just made it a universal route, which means this whole thing under here and over here is cut out so that I can fit, I could fit up to three humbuckers in there if I really wanted to. Obviously I'd have to change the pick guard but don't really have to worry about that because I'm not planning on changing this. Um, I don't know everything about guitars, obviously, but I do know pretty well about how to make this guitar. Um, I do know just about everything you'll need to make it. So if, if you want to make it, I mean, this overall cost me probably about $1,000. Um, after I sold my Black Les Paul, this is what I've been working on. Um, it did cost me some money to um, to get everything to work perfectly. That's what I've been waiting for the last couple weeks for. Um, because when the neck came in, it wasn't tight. Um, the radius of the neck was, wasn't perfect. The frets needed some work. And actually, the pocket where the neck sits um, had to be shaved down a, a little bit, like a sixteenth of an inch, I guess. And now it fits in there perfectly because when I put it in first, like you'd hear this perfectly fine. But when I play a note up here, like any of these notes above the 12th fret would buzz. And that's because the neck pocket wasn't really fitting that right. So 
definitely be aware of that if you're planning on doing something like this. Um, it definitely helps to have a skilled luthier in the area to work on your guitar. Um, I went to a guy in East Hampton, Massachusetts, uh, Healy Guitars. Um, so far, it seems like he did a pretty damn good job. Um, so I'm not sure if I really forgot anything on this. Um, if you're not following me on Facebook, um, I've already been talking about some of the new things I've been planning. Obviously, Blink's coming out with a new EP uh, very soon, which is going to be awesome. And since they're not on a label, I shouldn't have to worry about any copyright. So I'm going to get the songs out as fast as possible, um, do lessons for them, bass covers, that whole thing. Um, and then I also plan on doing Dude Ranch full album covers. And I'll do lessons for any of the songs that you guys want. Um, I think I have a couple up already. I'm pretty sure I did Pathetic and Damn It and maybe a couple others. Um, and then I plan on doing Take Off Your Pants and Jacket full album, um, blindfolded. And I'm going to try and do the Box Car Racer album full blindfolded. Only thing with those is I cannot upload a very long video to my account because of copyright stuff that has happened already. Um, I can't say do what Kurt's covers does where <coughs> he, uh, he can upload a full album if you wanted to, which could be like 45, 50 minutes. Um, the longest I can upload is maybe 30 minutes. So I'm going to have to do like half an album or a third of an album at a time. But I'll probably post them all on the same day so it's more or less like I'm doing the full album. So be on the lookout for that. If you got any questions at all, definitely let me know. Um, and thanks for watching. I can't wait to make a bunch of videos of this because this guitar is awesome. <laughs>